Where I come from, the words that are most highly valued are those which are spoken from the heart, unpremeditated and unrehearsed. Among the Pueblo people, a written speech or statement is highly suspect because the true feelings of the speaker remain hidden as he reads words that are detached from the occasion and the audience. I have intentionally not written a formal paper to read this to this session because of this and because I want you to hear and experience English in a non-traditional structure, a structure that follows patterns from the oral tradition. For those of you unaccustomed to a structure that moves from point A to point B to point C, this presentation may be somewhat difficult to follow because the structure of Pueblo expression resembles something like a spider web with many little threads radiating from a center crisscrossing each other. As with the web, the structure will emerge as it is made and you must simply trust, as the Pueblo people do, that meaning will be made. I suppose the task that I have today is a formidable one because basically I come here to ask you, at least for a while, to set aside a number of basic approaches that you have been using and probably will continue to use in approaching the study of English or the study of language. First of all, I've come to ask you to see language from the Pueblo perspective, which is a perspective that is very much concerned with including the whole of creation in the whole of history and time. And so we very seldom talk about breaking language down into words. As I will continue to relate to you, even the use of a specific language is less important than the one thing, which is the telling or the storytelling. And so, as Simon Ortiz has written, if you approach a Pueblo person and want to talk words, or worse than that, to break down an individual word into its components, off time you will get a blank stare because we don't think of words as being alone. Words are always with other words and the words are almost always in a story of some sort.